Till last section, I explained you how to use SAS macro for find replacement option. Now first time, I am going to show you how do you use SAS macro for a function kind of requirement and how do you create loop inside SAS macro. So you are going to see first usage of SAS macro like a function and you are also going to understand how do you define SAS macro for a function kind of requirement, how do you pass parameter and how do you call it, how do you use macro. Let me explain you the syntax and I will show you some demo as well. So the syntax goes like this, you do percentage macro, here you put the name of the function and these are the parameters. After that you can put anything in between, to close the macro you put MEND percentage MEND and the same macro name that you have used here, you have to put it here. That's what closes the macro. To use the macro, what do you need to do? Just use percentage and just put the macro variable name. So essentially this percentage and not this macro but rather this macro name that you have defined, the moment you use it, it calls this macro and executes it. Let me show it to you. I'll also show you the syntax of the loop. What you need to understand, loop cannot be like in open code. So if you look at till now, what I was showing you, like these were in the open code. You know, I didn't, I just used in the open code and I was able to use it, but loop cannot work like this. So that's why to explain you loop, I also had to explain you the SAS macro kind of function anyway. Also let me explain you the syntax of loop quickly and then I'll just show you that how does it work like. The way loop syntax goes, you actually put it like this. So let me show you, this, see, this is the first macro that you are seeing and here it is more like a function. So here you created this percentage macro, this is the macro function name, so loop underscore check. You created these parameters, start underscore one, end underscore one, by underscore one. So this is something that you can pass when you are calling it. And you look at inside, you know, you can use these parameter because when you are passing, it is available inside this macro, which is like inside, a, it, it's like a function. So here, if you look at, you know, I'm using start underscore one, which will get passed in from here, end underscore one and by. So the syntax of loop goes like this, percentage do, percentage to, percentage by. Look at everywhere there is a percentage sign. So this is very much like a for loop, for i equal to 1, 2, 5. So it is percentage do i equal to this to percentage to this and by this. And here I am just using percentage put so that I can show you in the loop how it is happening. Let me just rather show it to you. So here I defined the macro, percentage macro and mint, right, percentage macro and mint. And next time I'm going to use macro. So I just use percentage and this macro name, function name, I'm using one, five, two. So what will happen? This will become I equal to one, two, five by two. So it will become one, three, five. It will run like that. Let me show it to you. So I equal to one, I equal to three, I equal to five. So if you look at, it created the loop that we wanted, right? It went through this program multiple times and this is the syntax of looping. There are multiple ways, you have do while also, other stuff also, but that, you know, I should say you should learn as and when you are using it. For the purpose right now, this loop itself will help you a lot in many a times. So we'll right now stick to this definition of loop. So percentage do, to percentage and buy this. This buy can actually be negative also. You can actually go from 10 to 2 as well. So if you look at, I'm starting with 10, minus 3 will take you 7, minus 3 will make it 4, and then it won't execute. Because, you know, next time 4 minus 3 will become 1, and it won't go to that. Let me show it to you. So 10, 7, 4. So if you look at, you created a loop, and you are you created the macro here and you created the loop inside the macro and this is how you call the macro, you use the macro. This is the smallest example of, sorry, I mean, I mean to say this is a small example of 
SAS macro that you have seen and it is like a function right now. I'll introduce you to more stuff in the next part.